Hi there! Here's one of the most unique laptops launched this year, the Lenovo X1 Fold. Yes, as the name says, it actually folds like a book and no one would probably even know that it's a laptop. It's a very unique device and clearly not meant for everyone. But the concept is simply brilliant. Now imagine carrying a laptop like this in your hand or in your bag and it also comes with a Bluetooth keyboard and a keyboard that fits right in between the laptop. It actually even comes with a stylus because it comes with a touch display. I swear, seeing it completely blew me away and I wish there were more devices like this in the mainstream. It might just revolutionize the laptop industry. But the problem is that the X1 Fold is far from perfect. But then it doesn't have to be. It has to be productive, it has to be functional, it has to be easy to use and it has to be portable. And the X1 Fold ticks all those things. Let's dive in deeper to see if this one could be your next laptop or not. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. So here is the laptop itself. And the first thing that you can see that comes with this lovely leather like finish. ThinkPad X1 branding right on the top. And now if you see here, this place is empty. But when you open the laptop, let me just remove the keypad first. I'll come to that a little later. And you can see that that section is covered. So it's basically a sliding cover. Can you notice that? It's just amazing. The engineering gone behind making this laptop is phenomenal. And this cut you can see here is actually a stand. This flips open. Can you see that? And this is how the laptop stands and you can actually even use the laptop as a desktop PC which makes it extremely extremely unique. Now we'll talk about the display in just a moment but first we're going to talk about the design and once you see once you open it from here this is the display and the keyboard is magnetic once you place the keyboard here the display actually shortens up check that out so you are actually using the keyboard trackpad to use. So you're using that part of the screen. Now, if you want to use this as a proper laptop, this is actually a proper laptop. Of course, the screen gets smaller, but if you want to use a bigger display, you simply pick up the display and you have a full screen laptop right in your palms. Wow. And you, if you're reading something, you can actually curve it into a book-like shape. Can you see that, the fold? This is where this becomes so much more unique. I'll reduce the brightness a little so that you can see the display a little better. There you go. Wow. Check that out. And the fold experience is so good. Check this out. There you go. So you can notice the crease, but unless you open it fully, maybe you barely can. There you go. Barely you can. So that's one really good part and of course if you want to use it as a laptop you just simply magnetically place the keyboard there and you have your full windows taskbar right here and of course this is also a touch display so you can actually use the stylus for many other things there you go so this is going to be really really helpful now if i have to talk about the keyboard the keyboard keys are very tactile, but please remember, this is a mini keyboard. So what happens is that your typing experience is not going to be like what you get on your regular keyboard. It's going to be a little cramped, a little tighter, but still, it's not that it's impossible. The trackpad is like extremely small, but it's still there. So that's one really big plus. I suggest you use a mouse because using the trackpad might sometimes be a little too hard but yes you can use the trackpad it's not that it's impossible but yes it's a little hard at times and my favorite part is that the keyboard can actually be charged when it's placed here this is how the keyboard is being charged which is a really really good thing once it's paired all you need to do is you keep it here and it's charged now suppose you're using the laptop like this now how are you supposed to charge the keyboard if this is how you're mostly using your laptop how will you charge this keyboard well there is a small micro usb port here which you can use to charge the keyboard so that's also available so just in case you need to charge this keyboard it's fairly simple also 
the stylus will need some charge and to charge the stylus you're going to remove this and you can charge it with a USB-C port that's a USB-C port you're going to charge the stylus and you're done really really nice so well built you can see here and there's also a holder for the stylus here which goes right in here it's really nice now can you imagine that this is actually a proper functioning laptop yes a proper functioning windows laptop it's one of the most compact devices it reminds me of those netbooks but it's fairly powerful also this weighs just 900 grams it's so portable it's so light that's something i really love about it okay we'll just check out the ports we'll remove the keyboard we'll have a closer look at it so here you have the power button standby button the volume button then you have a USB-C port here. Now these are speakers and on the other side here as well as the speaker and the air vent for ventilation, there's another USB-C port. In fact, USB-C port is the only port that you have on it. But frankly, I'm pretty okay for this form factor. Having two USB-C ports is more than enough. It's to charge as well as to transfer data. Right on the top here is a five megapixel camera. Can you see it? So that's going to help you for your Zoom calls, for your online meetings. Coming to the display, so it comes with a 13.3 inch OLED display and colors are like you've never seen before. Vibrant and so spunky. The brightness however isn't the best, it maxes out at 300 nits, which by the way is more than enough when used indoors. Outdoors, you might struggle, but then people who use laptop outdoors are way too few. The panel is quite sharp and crisp thanks to the high 2048 by 1536 resolution. Now this is a 4 is to 3 aspect ratio which is perfect for productivity. So if you're using Microsoft Office or you're reading a PDF or surfing on a website, there is just so much real estate to really enjoy it. On the flip side, when you watch a movie or a video, you get to see thick black lines on the top and bottom. It doesn't have the most ideal aspect ratio for watching movies, but still they look gorgeous on the OLED display. The display also mimics a book reading experience because of the fold thing. Kind of cool. Now imagine holding a display like this at a cafe or at a park. It's surely going to grab a lot of attention. Alright, let's talk about the internals. So we get an Intel i5 L16 G7 processor, 5 cores, 5 threads, 1.4 GHz and it can turbo boost up to 3 GHz. Then we get 8 GB DDR4X RAM and 512 GB SSD. Now clearly, this isn't the fastest laptop out there, but for a form factor like this, it does all the needful. Like if you're a gamer, this ain't for you. But still, you can play basic games like PUBG and Asphalt 9. Now you can see I'm playing Asphalt 9 and it's working without any problem. No drop frames, no lag. And this is a 60Hz panel and it's still performing pretty well. Now I'm sure you can even do some light editing, but I'm not even going to try because that's not what this laptop is made for. Yes, Photoshop will work, but just basic editing. If you're going to go all aggressive with tons of layers, you might struggle during rendering. It also comes with Dolby Atmos support, which is really good, and the speakers do full justice to this so laptop. The they sound really good the and give you a pretty good immersive really experience you when you're enjoying movies and games. So the X1 Fold comes with a 50 watt hour battery and the company claims it should last for 8 hours with typical use. Now, considering typical use isn't exactly how we use these devices, expect 4 to 5 hours on it. Now, if I had to pick out the cons, I can just keep going on and on and on, but this is not about that. It's not a regular laptop, so any kind of complaint shouldn't really matter. Luckily, it has two USB-C ports so you can charge and transfer data when needed. The only thing that I miss is probably a 3.5 headphone jack, which would have been so much more convenient to just connect and play because you see that on all laptops. Luckily, it comes with Bluetooth, so you can connect your favorite pair of Bluetooth headphones and enjoy music wirelessly. Now, this is a super cool laptop. It's everything. It's got a good tab. It's a good laptop. It's got a touch display. It's got a keyboard that actually fits between the display and even charges. But again, this ain't for everyone, primarily because it starts at 2,45,000. Yes, that's steep. But imagine something like this, say for just 1 lakh or 1 lakh 50,000. I agree, it's not possible, but if the tech industry is able to make it cheaper, with these flexible displays just coming in, this probably would be something that everyone would want. Now let's not forget, this is a first generation product. I can't wait to see where Lenovo is going to take it from here. And it's just going to get better and better, and probably even cheaper. So I'll leave the link in the description and I suggest you check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.
until next time cheers, cheers.